played. Welcome back to How It's Played. Join us as we untangle gaming's greatest mystery chords. Today's subject is... Hadouken. The Hadouken is a spectacular combative force, typically used in underground road skirmishes. According to ancient scrolls, the Hadouken's origin lies in 17th century Asia, when a Buddhist monk discovered the Hadouken while meditating. Hadouken! Ow! But the Hadouken's rise in popularity can be attributed to the silent film era of the 1930s. But how does the Hadouken work? How? Take the air you're breathing and break it into its basic components. You'll find nitrogen, oxygen, and most importantly, duconite. Duconite can be located here on the elemental chart. Through intense concentration, a skilled Hadoukener is able to gather a large amount of duconite particles and release them into an intensely powerful ball of destructive and very rad-looking energy. Ow. Those who have been on the receiving end of a Hadouken have described the pain level as somewhere in between jumping into an unexpectedly hot shower and stubbing three toes at once. But perhaps most surprising is how prevalent duconite is in the modern world. Most of us are unaware that the original Model T got over 20 Dukens per gallon, or that your average 747 produces over 400 Mega Dukens of thrust. Hadouken! The Hadouken truly surrounds us all, whether it be the traditional Hadouken, Hadouken! the micro Hadouken wave, Hadouken! the 900 Mega Dukens cannon. Of course, that would be much too dangerous to demonstrate. Ah, uh, what the hell. <laughs> Next time on How It's Played, Electric Brazilians. Goodbye. Brought to you by Lodrum Technologies, makers of non-potable flavored waters. Now in four flavors. Unsafe for consumption. End of show. Hey, this is Mike from Lowbrow. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you feel like liking or subscribing, uh, I'd say go for it. Why not, right? And you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for some funny drawings and behind-the-scenes stuff. Don't forget to clean your room, and we're out of bread.